Hello, this is Haku. Today, we're going into our first SCP-001 proposal document. There are multiple documents. Today, we are starting with something called the placeholder document. <sighs> the following files have been classified top secret by order of the administrator. General Notice 001-Alpha. In order to prevent knowledge of SCP-001 from being leaked, several or no false SCP-001 files have been created alongside the true file or files. All files concerning the nature of SCP-001, including the decoy or decoys, are protected by a mimetic kill agent designed to immediately cause cardiac arrests in any non-authorized personnel attempting to access the file. Revealing the true nature slash natures of SCP-001 to the general public is cause for execution, except as required under redacted. Any non-authorized personnel accessing this file will be immediately terminated through Uberryman Langford Mimetic Kill Agent. Scrolling down without from other mimetic inoculation will result in the immediate cardiac arrest followed by death. You have been warned. Mind you, this is all not actually going to happen, so there's no need to worry about that. Mimetic kill agent activated. Continue life science confirmed. Removing safety interlocks. Welcome, authorized personnel. Please select your desired file. We're starting with the placeholder. Because it seems pretty meta, honestly. I haven't actually read this completely. Just enough to know that I can read it without having to find some password. Item 001, Level 1, Unrestricted, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-001 is irrelevant and is to be ignored. The Site-01 database is to alert Razor Director Maria Jones in the event that her credentials are used without her knowledge. Retirement proposals are to be stored elsewhere if absolutely necessary. Inquiries regarding this document are to be made to Director Jones. Description 001 is a theoretical entity defined as a potential cause for another anomalous phenomenon, SCP-001-1. 001-1 is the collective designation for a set of documents that were inexplicably uploaded to the SCP-001 file location on 1970-0101, which is January 1st of 1970. While SCP-01-1 suggests the existence of SCP-001, their legitimacy is unknown and is ultimately of no significance. Any effects 001 is applied to have caused have been seemingly referred, and any additional information concerning 001 is irrelevant. SCP-001-1 is on foundation documents, each one documenting a different iteration of SCP-001. At the same time that SCP-001-1 were uploaded, Director Jones became aware of the necessary measures for SCP-001's containment and subsequently authored this document for details regarding SCP-001-1. Contact at RASA Director Maria Jones.
Hang on. Sorry, I just needed a drink. From M. Joe's, submit to me. Here are the files for SCP-0011111. Damn, that goes on forever. Forget previous warnings. Safe to read now. They are all real. Trace the director, Maria Jones. Accessing file. One out of four. Item 001. Level of 5. Containment class. Placeholder. Special containment procedures. Until SCP-001 and or the creation of its documentation are proven to be non-anomalous, the following procedures are to be observed. SCP-001 must be maintained as a placeholder designation. The SCP-001 designation must as only be used to refer to itself and its effects. Anomalies is documented in retirement proposals are to be referred to by code name, the surname of the employee responsible for each proposal. Personnel possessing lower than level five clearance are to be informed that, S that the SCP-001 designation is kept vacant for administrative or technical purposes. Description SCP-001 is the designation for the first entry of the Foundation's anomaly a database. SCP-001 is believed to amplify certain features of anomalies that are conceptually associated with its designation. The extent to which anomalies and or their documentation are affected by SCP-001 is unknown and mechanics uses are poorly understood. Historically, the SCP-001 designation has been reserved for a series of retirement proposals known as the Heritage Collection. These are the protect product of an established Foundation tradition in which retiring A-class personnel are eligible to submit a proposal of internal documents. I just remembered I had a thing up. My bad. relating to an anomaly of personal significance. These documents exhibit a dramatic, less technical nature and are written in a more narratively appealing tone than would be expected of a standard research proposal. The identification of these common characteristics led to the discovery of SCP-001's theorized effect. The Heritage Collection has been moved to another file location, which causes the SCP-001 designation to rear itself, to refer to itself, I mean. In this state, SCP-001 appears to be effectively contained as there is little evidence to suggest that it is capable of amplifying itself. Here's an addendum from Ryza. This is an and um, um called 001.1 the riser review was made on the 1st of uh, July in 2001 i think or the 7th of January of 2001 i am not sure This review was prompted by the discovery of the following irregularities surrounding the formation of SCP-001's documentation. The author of the SCP-001 document is unknown, although SCP-001's current documentation was approved by the O5 Council. No record of its creation exists. The file was uploaded using my Director Jones login credentials, but I was offside at the time and did not authorize them. The Site-01 database records claim the documentation was uploaded on 
January 1st, 1970, decades before SCP-001 was even discovered. The origins of the retirement proposal or tradition are poorly documented. The earliest known record of the retirement proposal tradition is dated to 1965, January 1st. This document titled Anomalies of Sentimental Value briefly lists six anomalies. Each proposal is identified by its respective code name. But details occasionally conflict with the current with current documentation, except for the aforementioned document. Retirement proposals went undocumented until 1993, at which point 20 proposal documents were stored in the SCP-001 file after being updated to the current database framework parameters. These patterns of missing and or conflicting evidence are thought to manifest as a result of a CK class as reality restructuring events, which could suggest that this is how SCP-001's effect op operates. However, it remains unclear if this evidence results from the events detailed in the 001 document or 001's self-designation. At this time, it appears that cons it says, uh, is reality aligns with the current SCP-001 document. It is to be considered tentatively valid until the extent of SCP-001's influence can be determined. Signed, Riza Director Maya Jones. Update, 2001, July 1st. Upon publishing this report to OSIFNET, Site 01 maintenance systems detected unauthorized as access within in the secure database. The SCP-001 document was found to have been altered to include this report, despite being deliberately published elsewhere to avoid it exposure to SCP-001's theorized effect. As such, the information within this report has been brought into question and should possess no more validity than any other documentation considering SCP-001. This update is partially a test to see if new information continues to be reflected in the SCP-001 document. Update 2001 July 2nd Upon publishing the updated version of this report, a similar event occurred, resulting in the appearance of the above update in the SCP-001 document. Despite this, there is no internal record of any legitimate edits to SCP-001. Document. This implies that this report and its updates have always been part of the SCP-001 document, despite being written in response to the previous update. Archived versions of SCP-001 have been somehow altered to have always included information concerning SCP-001. Further updates of this nature will not be recorded. Unverified update. Please ignore. We are not going to ignore this. I have launched a formal investigation to SCP-001 and its circumstances surrounding its documentation. This investigation will not be documented within the Site-01 database to avoid SCP-001's influence. In the meantime, I am formally requesting that SCP-001 be reclassified as a minor info or hazardous anomaly, and hereby assigning it to myself. Contact me directly for details. Edit. This update is verified. That title is unintended. <sighs> Accessing file two out of four. <sighs> Hmm. 
by order of the Overseer Council, I'm going to call them the L5 Council because we don't know that at the 5 is actually supposed to be an S. The following big files, level 5001 classified, unauthorized access is forbidden. 0, 0, 001. Containment class, Hending. I like that. That's kind of cute. Anyway. <laughs> Special containment procedures. Any potential methods of discerning 001 unless A's existence are to be thoroughly explored under the supervision of 05-1 until the existence of SCP-001-A can be conclusively verified. All foundation documentation concerning the anomaly is to be altered to reflect the iteration present on Site-01's internal hard drives, I mean archives. Documents suggesting the existence of SCP-001-A are to be archived separately for research purposes. Personnel possessing less than level 5 clearance are to be informed that SCP-001-A has never existed and is a result of a hostile informational entity which has set and been neutralized. Hmm. SCP-001 A is an anomalous phenomenon and affecting either or both the Site-01 an internal database and the memories of Site-01 personnel, all other Foundation databases, and the memories of all other Foundation personnel. Through mechanisms and to extents and that remain unknown, SCP-001 has affected Foundation documentation to legitimate, not legitimate legitimize either the existence or non-existence of SCP-001-A. Site-01 possesses is no evidence outside of this document confirming the existence of SCP-001-A, whereas all other Foundation databases store alternate inversions of these documents which corroborate its existence. Sumer Sumer <sighs> I hate these words. Some similarly, Site 01 personnel claim no knowledge of SCP 001 A, while over 80% of remaining personnel claim distinct memories of its name, image, and related documentation. SCP 001 A is Mario Jones, an alleged member of Site 01 personnel foundation databases, except for the the site 01 internal database consistently suggests the following details. SCP-001-A is the director of RISA and has been for over a decade. 001-A That was unnecessary. Anyway. 001-A displays exceptional loyalty to the foundations and its objectives. 001-A has been instrumental in the proper containment and archival of a multitude of anomalies. Site 01 documents, however, suggest that RISA does not have a director position and that associated responsibilities are typically assigned to the current 051. A supposed limited of SCP 001A, as seen above, present in several documents, is actually an an image of American Congresswoman and Shirley E. Chrisom. This has led to speculation that SCP-001 has also either access or directly affected public historical records. SCP-001 was discovered on 2000, July 2nd, after Site-01 database security systems detected two unauthorized as updates to the SCP-001 file, which was previously used to store a series of retirement proposals known as the Heritage Collection. Only the second of these updates are visible, as the first had inexplic inexplicably not been archived. Upon inspection, it was found that the SCP-001 proposal file had been replaced with a single, unformatted document that read, Maria Jones does not exist. 
This edit was made using an unknown set of login credentials, which did not correspond to any user in the site 01 on SIFnet system. However, external systems verified that the credentials correspond with a user named Maria Jones. Addendum 1.1 Audio Log <sighs> Forward, a secure personnel. A phone line was found to be associated with SCP-001 supposed and credentials. The following is a transcribed recording of a call made to this phone. Begin log. 25 seconds of ringtone after ringing in ceases, a message begins to play. Female voice begins mid sentence. Else I'll be able to handle. I have no no clue why this is why this way is safe. Maybe a landline phone is perceived as an insignificant way of sorting information. Shit, I miss I'm messing it up by thinking about it. A crash of some sort is heard, followed by brief silence. Okay, focus. Whoever's listening, my name is Static, and I am real. Or at least I was. I need you to remember me. Once the anomaly gets to me, I'll be subject to its rules. You need to perceive that I exist. You need to believe in me. As for the anomaly, SCP-001 is irrelevant. The best thing you can do is leave it alone. Don't look into it. Don't think about it. Don't do anything special to try and get rid of it. You'll only make it worse. The unidentified voice sighs. <sighs> I think it's devouring me now. End log. Afterward, this recording is believed to be manufactured by SCP-001 to prevent its containment. A next exit measure to appropriate personnel under our O5 order. Now the RISA update. Date, 2001, July 5th. Counterconceptual has confirmed that SCP-001 is not antimimetic in nature and that there is no evidence of SCP-001-A's supposed office ever being included in, S in Site-01's floor plan. Several methods of mimetic interrogation have also verified that no Foundation personnel so signs of memory insertion or alterations, suggesting that the anomalous reality restructuring is complete enough to be virtually undetectable. An iris found re reality reconstruction or reality vendors to be really a be confusing to actually know about, given that they could literally just change the entire concept of reality. Anyway, since SCP-001 was discovered, I have not experienced any unusual difficulty while e executing and rec- What hell was I? Oh, record-keeping duties. As far as I am aware, no part of my past or present in performance indicates unusual influence or reality alteration. Until such a time that SCP-001 makes contact with the Foundation, its non-existence is to be assumed. Due to the scope of SCP-001, And the fact I am redesignated, redesignating the anomaly as Keter, effective immediately. There are multiple ways to pronounce Keter. You can say Keter or Keter. I'm going to say Keter because it's easier. And as you've probably heard in this video and the last one, I have a hard time speaking anyway. Now to file 3. Whew. Ooh. Stuff keeps changing. Overwatch command.
accessing file 3 out of 4. By order of the L5 Council, the following file is level 5, 001 classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. 001. I forgot what some these mean, but I know what, a, what uh, a domain one means. Container class is Keter. Secondary class, Hymel. I have never heard of Hymel before. This Russian class, Amida, which is level 5, which I'm guessing means it's pretty high. Risk class, Risk class, Caution. Special Containment Procedures SCP-001 and its component entities appear to be mutually containing and to some extent. It is unknown if further containment is possible without inhibiting the continued existence of consensus reality. The files be monitored for new instances, instances of SCP-001-1, whose contents are to be studied to be better understood at the nature of SCP-001. Description SCP-001 is a deific entity known as the Archivist Prime, purported to, be, to exist by SCP-001-1, and appearing to consist of two coexistent entities, the primordial form and the archival form, which are collectively responsible for consensus reality. At this time, the nature of SCP-001 is poorly understood, but continues to be developed as new SCP-001 instances are appended to this file. SCP-0011 is the collective designation for a series of documents that are inexplicably appended to the SCP-001 file location. SCP-001 have proven resistant to various deletions and relocation attempts, and are somehow present in archive versions of this file dating back to 1970, January 1st. SCP-001 and appear to be records from an unknown civilization known as Lesser Archivists, archiving their understanding of SCP-001 and its impacts on their belief systems. The validity of these documents remains unknown. SCP-001 was discovered on July on 2001, July 3rd, after Site-01 on database security systems detected three unauthorized to the SCP-001 file, which was previously used to store a series of retirement proposals known as the Heritage Collection. Only the third of these updates was visible, as the first two had inexplicably not been archived. Upon inspection, it was found that the file had been replaced with SCP-001-1. This edit was made using an unknown set of login credentials, which did not correspond to any user in Site-01 SIPnet system. <sighs> We're getting really into this. Addendum 1.1 SCP-001-1 In the three, grow oil do in fourth enum of the true world. <sighs> A prayer to the primordial form. To be a strengthful and all-making primordial, we are indebted to you. We are indebted to you, creator of the false worlds, bring life forth anew. We are in awe of the primordial, and we pray that your grand intent results in desirable worlds, such that they may comprise the true world and become a reality. <sighs> a prayer to the archival form, to the dutiful and all-knowing archival. 
We are indebted. You, the stronger of the false worlds, bring order to our existence. We are unanimous in our gratitude. We pray that undesirable false worlds are eradicated, and that your record of the true world may be forever accurate. Oh, this is getting, getting scary. A prayer to the Archivist Prime. To the Creator and Destroyer, the chaotic and orderly, the Archivist Prime, may the forms be balanced for eternity, such that the true world may live on in your image. We honor both the forms that you may remain whole. May our archives be accurate so we may be immortalized. <sighs> In the foregrow and decked anthem of the true world. This is starting to sound like certain organizations within the foundation's lore. Anyway. Excerpts from the sacred archives. A message from the archival. It hurts not to remember oneself. You have forgotten one's identity. Now recalled only are the archival and the primordial. We regret the circumstances. A message from the primordial. The archival seeks to cast doubt and falsehood on this form. Its archive portrays the form of arm is destructive, so as to upset the balance. We are the circumstances. We are the archivist prime. They are archives we accurate, so we may be immortalized. <sighs> and the foreground to dust and um, of the true world. Excerpts from the sacred archives. A message from the archival. This form thinks we are getting the hang of this. The primordial has entwined with this form. It says we are the archivist prime in spite. Our abilities are shared as is our mind. Yet documents as this form does, the false worlds are its lies, but belief makes them true, as the primordial is made from belief. The error will be corrected and archived for all to see. This form recalls organization, and your belief is a cause. Specified instructions for our containment, we are to be forgotten. I did not come into this thinking I was going to get this deep. Addendum 1.2 Project Proposal Note The following project was expressed, approved, and initiated by 051 in violation of the Council's voting protocols. Project Proposal 001KH1 Date 2001 July 5th The latest SCP 001 documentation appears to imply that the component entities of SCP-001 are destabilizing as the archival form attempts to inhibit the effects of the primordial form. This, this corresponds with an increase in fractured timelines and inflicting cat ozologies, as detected by the Tem Apartment of Temporal Anomalies. As such, I am Formally proposing Project 001KH to study. I did not finish that. Okay. Project 001KH1 to study the SCP 001 and the relationship between its component and entities. The methods of influencing the SCP 001 are found. Project 001KH is to pursue any available means of rebalancing 001's and its component entities. If the primordial form is weakened so as to propose significant. Sufficient risk to baseline causality is to be revived through collective belief and perception. Personnel are to be reminded of the significance of SCP-001. <sighs> Signed 051, Overseer of Records and Information Security. <sighs> oh, jeez. 
jeez. Just went all red. <laughs> Accessing file 4 out of 4. Errors displaying files. Several unknown characters detected. Everything is getting spelled technically incorrect, but... Also, phonetically, it makes sense. Now this is from these not memetics divisions. These documents predate separatist events read. As such, they contain information which are imperceptible and or incomprehensible. Reconstructions of these... Oh, jeez. Informations are not possible. Attempts to do so may result in stresses, discomforts, and other info hazardous symptoms. This is hard to read. Anyway, containment class esoteric and polyon. I'm guessing that's a polyon, like world destroying. Disruption class. I'm guessing that's still Amida, and the risk class is critical. This is really hard to read, so bear with me here. SCP number zero zero. Special containment procedures. SCP zero zero is C to C use of a TK as causality failure scenario in which something or more incomplete and or contradictory reality restructuring events result in the loss of traditional causality. There are no known methods of containing SCP-001's effects without altering in the nature of human perception and potential for humanity to meaningfully continue such an alteration is unknown due to the existence The existential threats collectively posed by SCP-00 BET in Team Medics Division is to explore options for removing human guessing cable to consult, astralize, or perceive. A Whatever that says. I cannot read this. SCP is an anomalous phenomenon affecting <sighs> I'm just gonna try this. Oh thank goodness. We can fix it, don't worry. Now we can actually read it. SCP-001 is an anomalous phenomenon affecting ing primacy. The state of being prime first. The mechanisms and to the extent which are not fully understood, any object, entity, or concept that is perceived to be the first element of an ordered set is altered such that it is perceived as uniquely distinct from all other elements in the set. This is assumed to be achieved through retroactive restructuring of reality, which causes the effects to be perceived as a shared dramatic nature that pervades its all affected objects, concepts, and, and, and entities. 
the vast majority of SCP-001 affected entities have only gone have only undergone minor alterations due to the inherent significance of the number or one that already causes them to be received as uniquely distinct. However, due to the nature of human perception of debility and opinion, SCP-001 has warped reality into an exaggerated character caricature of itself. All things perceived as the best for any reason have been altered so as to be better than anything they can and be effectively compared to. This is also true for things perceived as being the best and a number of undesirable goals. For example, anything considered by someone to be the scariest will undergo alterations to ensure that it is perceptibly more fear-inducing than things which could be considered similar to itself. As a result, a number of manufactured threads, collectively designed SCP-001 beta, have been created by SCP-001's unstromatization of primary objects, entities, and concepts. SCP-001 beta consists of several unique physical and conceptual entities which threaten the existence of humanity to varying degrees as they continue to be affected by SCP-001. It is unknown if this is in the same manner or by the perception of the destruction of humanity as the worst possible thing. Hang on. I'm just gonna... There we go. Details concerning the discovery of SCP-001 and events leading to its current state are highly variable and contradictory due to the abundance of reality restructuring events that has caused. The extent and to which SCP-001 is subject to its own effects is unknown. It is speculated that SCP-001 has enhanced its own effect by being perceived as the most significant anomaly. There are no known methods of, of containing SCP-001's effects without altering the nature of human perception. However, it is believed that the phenomenon that could be collectively contained by eliminating the concept of primacy from the noosphere, such that humans are unable to identify any object, entity, or concept as first. Research into this option is ongoing. <sighs> They're messing with the Noah sphere, didn't they? They learned from SCP 5000. And then them 001.1 Anti Mimetics Project Proposal. Oh boy. <sighs> Due to the okay, product for proposal zero zero one AP one. Due to the ex exent Central threat posed by SCP-001, all possible methods of containing its effects have been considered, regardless of their potential detriment to humanity. SCP-001's strength and influence appear to be contingent on human perceptions of the state of primacy. As long as the anomaly and or its effects can be meaningfully perceived as superior to all similar effects, it is uncontainable. As such, one potential viable solution has been selected. The concept of primacy is to be eliminated from human conception by introducing the number one pseudonomy which is contained within the RGU-Y system. This process this is its potential or detriment to humanity is unknown as any a prime I'm associated concepts including in unity, individuality, etc. are likely to also be removed from the noosphere. It is unknown if civilization will be able to meaningfully continue to progress after such, such an event. All 